Hi everyone, I talked to someone today in the healthcare community and we were talking about um, chemtrails, vaccines, Fukushima and other things, which was awesome. We also talked about um, the H1N1 and something was brought to my attention that um, there's a lot of false positives and I was told to go down the rabbit hole by myself to find it out because you have to understand health professionals don't want to jeopardize themselves. So I came over here to the Center of Disease Creation, the CDC, other people know it by. I want to read you something and I'll leave this link. False positives and true negatives in parentheses, but a false positive influenza test results are more likely to occur when disease prevalence is low. False negative or true positive influenza test results are more likely to occur when the disease prevalence is high. So when there is a big flu going around like, like the real flu, there's probably going to be a lot of negative um, and there are false negatives. But when the flu is not around, there's going to be false positives, which is going to panic people and the government's going to call it epidemic and pandemics. I'll leave the link below. You guys check this out. There's more information in here. I just thought I'd let you guys see this. You'll have to read down. Um, but um, it's not very far down here. And it says accuracy depends upon prevalence of the flu. However, let's face it, the center of disease creation is a part of the government and they like to promote fear. So everybody knows the general rules of washing your hands and, and, and how to cough into your, you know, your elbow. I'm sitting here doing it and you can't see what I was doing. Or your arm, you know, just don't cough on people if you're sick. And, and when school starts and when, and after school starts, there's been a holiday, there's always a lot of flus and stuff. And, and that stuff happens on airplanes or where there's crowds of people and, People are indoors a lot. There's flus, there's colds, and a lot of colds and stomach viruses are misdiagnosed as flus. Just wanted to give you a heads up on the false positives when they're more prevalent. And the false negatives are more prevalent when there's a real flu. Isn't that strange? I think they need to be fired. Love you guys. Let's spread the truth everywhere. And Linda's out of here.